All right, we are gonna do, okay, so I still haven't posted Scorpio through, um, I hope they're still valid, but I think I'm gonna still go ahead and, today I'm really busy, but maybe I'll get around to it uh, this weekend, okay. But I'm gonna do a reading today for um, Aquarius, okay, and we are in, I wanna say Libra Moon. Okay, so, um, energy is here but um, let's do um, getting Aquarius that's what's lighting up all right so let's see here oh I gotta do this quick all right I'm gonna use this deck it's called the uh, it's German okay all right here. Alright, Aquarius. Pop-up reading, Aquarius. Pop-up reading, Aquarius. Alright. Oh, that's interesting. They're all mixing. Okay. In all different directions. Okay, so I'm getting all different directions. Okay, let's see. Okay, now this is feng shui, uh, not feng shui, um, the Chinese symbol too, there. So for some it might mean something. But this is a vortex card. This is saying that the abundance is flowing. Ace of stones in the west. Okay. Oh, this is interesting. Okay, this is an eagle. Wow, okay, so it's like, what I'm seeing here is like a Mary energy, a feminine divine energy, and an eagle. Okay, and this is kind of reminding me of the dung beetle, but here is the transformation with the rainbow and the light rays. So it's like rising above the density. Woo! Ooh, Ace of Stones in the West. Okay, I like that. So for some of you, this could be a trip that is productive and helps you feel better and lighter about whatever's going on. And this is over here somewhere. Okay. Woo, love, Two of Cups. Okay, so now for some of you, this energy, it was like focusing on love was going to improve the money. Okay, so I think that's wonderful. Here's the Two of Cups. Okay. Okay, so this could be the journey in love also, even for what? What's back here? Four of Wands, celebrations. Oh my goodness. Okay. All right, now here's the, that, um, these symbols. Now, whatever is being trans, I'm getting transformation energy, right? Okay, so. I'm getting this as the world card, like stepping into a whole new reality, right? A higher, it's like, okay, it's like this. You know how we have millions of people on earth, right? Okay, now, but each person is their own universe. So it's like the version we get depends on how we are moving our energy. Okay, and through this love energy, right, and celebrations and connecting with people, okay, that's bringing in the higher reality, the higher version. Okay, here's an eye here. Is that the eagle eye? Okay, so I'm getting Middle East. Hmm. I picked up Tourniquet. On the bottom is Three of Stones. Okay, so also uh, they're saying here that we um, spend a lot of time at work, right? At least I, I know I do. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's like I'm, I don't have a problem going to sleep at night. And when I lay my head, I'm <laughs> it's over. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, okay, see y'all folks later. <laughs> okay, but anyway, um, so this is like, ooh, look, look at that. I was doing that and the success popped out. Okay, so you've got success surrounding all around you. Ooh, look at that. Alchemy. Okay, so it's like alchemizing your physical body, right? alchemizing your physical body is also going to improve your DNA which is going to help you feel lighter so what does that mean body mind spirit when my ingesting in mind especially if you're an Aquarian right uh, can I give my mind a break a little bit and just focus on love right okay can I do this more okay so um, now for some of you, um, I, this has been popping up periodically is someone might have a baby. Okay, so I'm getting that. Another one. Okay. All right. So now if this is not a child, you're birthing new ideas. Okay. And um, it's like an incubation period. And then, uh, right, and you got a nine here, nine months. Oh, I think that's a baby. Okay, for someone. Definitely. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, um, anyway, so work, right? If we can find ways to enjoy work a little bit more, then it's like there's no transition from weekend to weekday, right? And what I'm getting here is um, have a little supportive friends like, maybe a pet rock or like a, a certain kind of crystal or I'm also getting yeah I picked up baby again okay so someone's having a baby a water sign Pisces okay yeah okay so and I'm getting um, mandarin ducks Mandarin ducks. And so what is that? So for some of you, you're going to be getting married. That's like longevity in relationships. So some of you are going to be getting married. And uh, so renewal vows for some of you. And that could be part of this four of wands and new world. Okay. Renewing of vows. Or at least dedication to... No, not dedication. It's even deeper. Devotion. Woo! Wow, that feels really good. Okay, so unconditional devotion. Okay, so now bringing plants to work, right? Um, okay, oh, okay, so, hmm. All right, now for some of you who are in... Um, Okay, I'm not trying to get people paranoid, but you want to pay attention to the things that are around in your business rooms, right? Because we have these things that are showing me that air, air pod or not air pod, air tag. And so people could put things anywhere, right? To kind of keep tabs on what's going on. I feel like this is for Gemini. Okay, if you're here, okay, so you want to be very mindful not to speak around your phone, especially if you have something that's very important like a um, uh, court case and things like that. Because I feel like if you are in some sort of entanglement with judiciary system, I feel like that was because people were keeping tabs through phone devices and maybe even like tapping the walls or something like that pictures plants okay so but I got on a little side here sorry that was just for somebody now for here let's not get paranoid but sometimes when you're paranoid that's your intuition letting you know there's something going on okay it's not always mind stuff okay so now we've got success here we've got work here and what I'm getting is trying to find little ways to make work more enjoyable is gonna bring this uh, manifestation a lot higher working on DNA your body mind and spirit okay so let's go ahead and take those the alchemy And 
Yeah, success. And so I feel like you're ending one cycle since we get in the world energy here. Okay, so ending one cycle. We'll take that uh, three. Three is the beginning of a perfect pattern, right? That's what I think. Okay, so let's see. What's the next? Woo! blank canvas so your your world is your creation okay blank canvas okay so let's see what it is oh my gosh what harmony two of stones okay I feel like it has been a balancing act that's what I feel like okay Okay, so this could also represent the two twins. So Gemini energy, like I was talking about. I'm picking that up again with this. Okay. All right. I'm getting a feeling of angelfish. Okay, so maybe solitude. Okay, something like that. Ooh, connecting with the earth, the power of the earth, four stones. Okay, so now this is like uh, calling for surrender, a little bit of more, less resistance, and more um, surrendering to the divine. Okay, because I feel like connecting with spirit is going to bring in the highest outcome. Okay. Remember to uh, do your affirmations and also um, affirmative prayer, right? That's so important. And we don't have to repeat the same prayers, but sometimes in repetition, um, that becomes the mantra, right? Okay, so what's the next card? Daughter of Wands in the East, Radha. What about it? Yeah, that's you got two nines here. This it's definitely completion of one cycle. Okay. Nine. So it says material gain. So you got success, material gain, daughter of the wands in the east. Okay, so um flute music, okay, and also connecting with green stones, right? Any kind of uh jade or like uh, some kind of stone that's going to help uh, that green uh, it's like the green mirror of the heart okay so flute music might be nice okay and see again I'm getting like marriage again here okay so for some of you that is actual marriage and what is this father of the cups in the north king of cups woo Odin Okay, so you got Daughter of the Wands in the East, Material Gain, and Father of the Cups in the North, King of the Cups. Again, it's the cup of love. This is like fatherly, like the Divine Father. So, ooh, you got like Divine Mother energy and then Divine Father energy. So that's like for love for humanity. Woo, what is this? Mother of Cups in the North. Okay. Venus of Willendor. Ooh, I wish I had more time to unlock these. Okay, all right, but, okay, so. All right, so again, this is like family, love, tribe, uh, money. Okay, M uh, mother of the cups in the north, queen of cups, and king of cups, a perfect match. Okay, and then here is the emperor energy in the center. Okay, so I feel like this could be you, but oh, that's interesting. 
Okay, since we're t we were talking about mine stuff. Okay. Okay, so then you got the action card here. See, this is like the Venus shell and the like the water. Ace of Wands. So there may be balancing of the emotions with the fire energy, right? Ooh, two, two of Wands. Dominion. Okay, so I'm getting two things. Uh, movement and more technology, okay, is what I'm getting for you. Aquarius. Now, if you're the Gemini that's here, I feel like that is like aligning that wisdom mind with the heart and not letting the mind just trump over everything. Okay. There's a progression here, right? Ace of Wands, Two of Wands. So taking the steps towards what you desire, that's important. Okay. Now, for some of you, this is avoiding the tower, okay, through uh, this alchemy and love. For some of you, this is the transformation. This is Scorpio energy. For some of you, this is the help. Woo, another blank canvas. Okay, so it's like keep creating. Yeah, you are the magician. Okay. Now, there's one thing I want to say about this magician. Now, you could be dealing with an emperor-type energy that's not so positive. Now, if you're a woman, right, the other day, and I feel like this is for a Pisces. The other day, I was trying to research mental stuff. <laughs> <laughs> and I was looking up, what was that? Um, the difference between psychopath and sociopath. And I think it was, a lot of times it said in that video, CEOs are the psychopaths. <laughs> We're just talking about archetypes, right? Don't take it personal if you're a CEO and you're here. <laughs> I'm just talking about the video that I saw on YouTube. It was like uh, so the difference between um, psychopath and sociopath. Okay, and I found that fascinating. Okay, because I didn't have a clue what they were talking about. I had to see it. <laughs> okay, anyway. So... I thought that was interesting because, uh, okay, so certain people with distortion to money, right? Okay, let's just use like one reading I did. It was a Taurus. Okay, so let's just say one Taurus had a uh, distortion to money and fame, right? And she ended up in a court and all this. Okay. Anyway, so um, that one was attracted or lured into this whole image, right? And then once she got in there and got to know the person, it was a major, like, uh, learning experience, okay? So it's like watching out for distor distortions of power and money with this emperor, moving in love and flexibility and open-mindedness and uh, a certain degree of surrendering to spirit and communion with spirit is going to help avoid major um, disasters. That's what I'm getting. Okay. Woo! How did that happen? Oh my gosh. This is Aquarius. I just want to say this. You have the potential for uh, abundant times here. This is what spirit's showing me. Cups overflowing. Three. Okay. Well, oh my gosh, what? Overflowing. Victory. Six of Wands. This is reg. Oh, how come these maple leaves keep showing up? Or was that the other day? It was like Japanese maple. And then here's a maple leaf again. And victory six of wands. 
This is like public recognition of your success. Now this could be like winning an award, okay, or awards because there are many leaves here. Okay, so this, whatever all this was, was a learning experience, okay. So it's like, okay, they're saying to me, look, you learn from your failures, what you consider failures of the past. That's flipped, okay, and then this, is how you move because you keep learning as you move along in segment of time and by moving with that wisdom from the things you learn from the past this is how the flow happens to success the flow to success okay and then we have the goddess sky right or is that nut okay mother of the swords in the south queen of swords Okay, so I feel like you're harnessing your word power. Okay, so, and I got three points here. Three segments in time. Connecting with the heaven realm. Woo! Four cups, mixed happiness. So it's like... Moving with the good times and the bad times. Rolling with the good times and the bad times. And then even through those times that you consider bad, um, knowing that it's going to keep rolling in a direction that's going to bring in victory here. And victory can be defined in many ways, right? Okay. Old man, father of the stones in the west. Okay. So I feel like this symbolizes connecting to the divine masculine within you. Okay, Father of the Stones in the West. So it's like all directions. Woo! Empress. Okay. So you've got your match here. Some of you are married to this. Okay, some of you, through your journey, it's like your partner is... Uh, coming into her power too it's like she woke up to herself through you this connection oh i like that that's so beautiful okay all right so now they're showing me this is the three of wands this is like um looking in all directions for your success flowing in so this is the three three of wands it takes a subtle energy it's like still taking action but not a like pushing against energy it's like flowing energy but still taking action to success and father of the swords in the south king of swords okay so see we've got the queen of swords and the king of swords okay so i feel like it's like, ooh, raw, the sun. Okay, so it's like you becoming the sun through even the dark times. Okay, so it's like love in the northern direction. All directions is what I'm getting. And this cup is the cup that is the beginning. Oh, that's the tear of raw. Oh my gosh. Okay, so anytime you forget, right, and you see more shadow than light, connect with the sun, okay, and I feel like it will paint your world golden, okay, and so through love, loving communication, it will bring in new beginnings here, Aquarius. And so it's like whatever was, whatever was the fear, the fear of what, um, these things, right? It's like you've moved into you and your partner. Okay. Now for some of you, this is a journey of two people coming together. Okay. Both two strong people in their power coming together. Now for some of you, this is two people married and one 
if there was any kind of uh, like discrepancy or a difference in vibration or um, what they're bringing to the table, that's going to be balanced out. For some of you, that was child. Okay. All right. So it's like the fear of it not working out, right? We've so spend your dominant time in the success energy. It's not about putting uh, rose-colored glasses, but it is about spending your dominant time, no matter what's happening in the now that doesn't seem so positive. Letting that new creation be the dominant energy. Okay. Protect your boundaries. So some of you may be doing that. Healthy boundaries. Engage and trust in the partnership. Risk and dare. That's that subtle action. Oh, wait. Am I showing the cards? Yeah, it's important to take time, right, to relax and enjoy life, no matter what you're going through. Ooh, and here's that silence I was talking about, creating that silence to connect with that still, small voice, right? That's a powerful energy. Okay. And on the bottom, keep the faith. I'll leave you with that.